Welcome to Grubbin' with Cold Moo! On today's episode, we have three very different beers from three very different breweries. We have a repeat visitor in Avery, the Maharaja. And then we also have another Hopworks beer. Hey, this is a quadruple Belgian style. I'm looking forward to it. Quad. And our main event, Rogue's Voodoo Donut Beer. No the whole way. new flavor. Pretzel raspberry chocolate. Let's go ahead and start with the Hopworks Ooh. quadruple. All right, Ooh, pass that it around. That very much like a yeast infection. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Really? I hope not. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, it's not bad. It's kind of, to me, like I've had, I've had better triples, but this one, for, as far as the brewery of like other things I had from them, super hoppy and crazy. Like, this is meaning a very nice balance. Yeah, I, I, I know I've had other uh, Hopworks, but I can't recall what they were. Like, it, this one's weird. Like, it starts off really uh, just really fresh and mm -hmm. crisp, and then, yeah. then you get that weird kind of sweetness. There's sort of that, an that acidity healthy. to it mm -hmm. right away, but it's mm -hmm. not, not, not like a sour, you know? To me, this one is very smooth. It's a, it's a nice, crisp flavor, and um, if you were to drink a Pilsner that had a uh, like heavy corn aftertaste. This has something citrusy on top of that. So it, it would totally detract away from any gross homogenous flavor at the end. Mm -hmm. And it leaves you with a, a combination of very good flavors uh, for a lasting aftertaste. So I would have to give that beer like, man, like a seven, nine, maybe even an eight. I'm gonna give the beer a six and my fart a two. Mm. <laughs> I give Wero's fart a fucking zero and an F U. And uh, this beer, I'm actually going to agree with uh, Pink. It's eight, um, and eight's a really high rating. It's really good. Next beer, the Maharaja. This might be the the mother IPA. <laughs> All other IPAs have no spawned one from this. Right, cheers. cheers. I've had a lot of great uh, double and imperial IPAs, but usually uh, they have a like they have the IPA, but they have the sugary sugar of the alcohol backing it, so it creates like a whole new flavor that's really rich and delicious. But this one, this one starts out there and then moves into whole new like floral territory, oh, where it's like geez. I'm getting a lot of like flower and like yeah. perfumey notes coming out of it. So it has the strength of flavor I need another taste. of <laughs> a normal IPA, but with the strength of kick exactly. that a double IPA has. Yeah. You're not losing any of the any of the hops. The hops are there. No, like you're not losing any of Fragrant and, and forward crap. and in your face even, but like you get the backbone of like a really good double IPA. So yeah. fuck this. <laughs> oh no way. <laughs> It's super alcoholy, and it, I mean, I agree with what he says as far as I just don't care for all that. Like, it makes my face actually hurts from kind of just going like, eh, so good. If you were to drink an IPA with less of an alcohol percentage, you would get a lot of piney flavor at the end, and I don't have a lot of problems with that. Um, mm. But when you have the extra alcohol in, it does take the pine flavor to a new level, like a sweet honey sort of flavor just a little bit like a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. um, but it does like turn that over honey exactly it turns that really super piney flavor into mm -hmm. a florally flavor and it's a long lasting flavor mm. um this too beer, long lasting for my <laughs> i don't know uh, but like the the balance of that sweet alcohol with the ipa is fantastic this is my favorite beer from avery by far i give it uh, an eight. Oh, oh, it's give so it fucking a five. good. I gotta go with a nine on this one. I am super impressed. I really like IPAs already, so I'm kind of in the uh, already. I already have my dog in this fight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but when it comes down to it, of the IPAs that I've already tasted in the past, this is really breaking new ground. Our final event: Rogue Voodoo Donut Pretzel Raspberry Chocolate Ale. It certainly smells like chocolate. Yeah, it smells very chocolatey. Chocolate Ooh, more than anything. It does smell like a chocolate pretzel. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. 
that represents chocolate and raspberry very well. It's I'm like, kind of surprised. It tastes this like one. a raspberry cordial if they ever made that kind of thing. Mm. You know, like cherry cordials, but mm -hmm. instead of there was a raspberry in the center. Yes. Yeah. Get on that, confectioners. <laughs> right, Make us Rogue. a raspberry covered with chocolate. Everybody gets just one. Yeah. This is this yours. Bro. You you got this one. Uh, this is so much better balanced than the uh, yeah and tasting than the other two. It actually represents me, what it says on the bottle. Versus it represents very two. well. I'm getting both the chocolate, sort of a wheat sort of thing happening. Yeah. As far as pretzel goes, nice roastedness to it, mm. and also the raspberries in there too. Yeah. But I, I think what's kind of most endearing about this is it doesn't even taste like it's good chocolate. It's like that shitty chocolate. Yeah. That yeah. You get it's like from the like chocolate that hardens candies. over time. You know. Yeah. It starts it's turning more white. than that. It's like Swiss Miss hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah. It's like really like sugarless, bittersweet, and cheap at the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. It always reminds me of like whenever you get like the Easter candies, like you get all the like the little chocolate balls and like the Easter bunny thing. Just that, that yeah. shitty so, Yeah, well, I would go to your father and say it's like the squeeze on liquid chocolate that hardens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the Hershey's. Oh. Like the, the ice you put on your ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's, to me, that's what I'm getting. And yeah. The flavor profile is right. But is this a is this a beer you can drink? Uh, that, that's the question. This is um, one that you split this whole thing between like four people. I, it would be rough. Four? I think it would be rough to drink the whole bottle by yourself. Yeah. But as far as flavor goes, like if I'm looking for a chocolate sort of beer, yeah, as like a dessert beer or like even to go with a certain dish, I would say this is like. A viable option because yeah. there's a lot of chocolate yeah. beers that don't really taste super chocolatey, and we've no. had them. We've reviewed. Say, them. I think the yeah. Sam Smith's about the only one that is. This is more of like a cheap dark chocolate. Yeah. Sam Smith is like the most delicious milk chocolate you've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. And like, e like even Rogue has the double chocolate one. That's pretty. Oh, that's it's right. pretty okay. It's pretty good. But they all serve a very different purpose. What you're telling me is this is something you would bust out in front of your hoity-toity friends and be like. Oh, look at me. I got this flavorful <laughs> beer. It's not something you want to bust out if you got a couple of friends over and you want a chick to, you know, pop her yeah, out. Yeah, it would... No. Oh, well, is... no, obviously not. <laughs> okay, like... then it's the wrong beer every occasion. <laughs> always, always, always. We need tits, okay? Especially us. Please. Nobody's had too much Maharaja. Yeah, Send those tits. Uh, it depends on... <laughs> I mean, I have mine, what but they're not for. enough. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just yeah. like a nice chocolate beer. A beer m modeled after a pretzel, raspberry, chocolate donut should not be this good. No. Everything Do you about taste that. pretzel? Does anybody a taste little bit. pretzel? What is a pretzel, though? Like, pretzels are bland, bready. They're very salty. Salty product. Like, yeah, it's like... Maybe it's not the saltiest beer you've ever drink, but is that a bad thing? <laughs> Well, yeah. it depends, though, because, like, if you get in them big pretzels, like, they're not always salty. You have to put the salt back on them. Like, that's a choice. You either dip them in mustard, you put them in salt, you have cheese. Just as itself, it's just a very bland chunk of dough. Yeah. Hey, guys, let's go get a pretzel. Right <laughs> I, now. I want a jalapeno pretzel. Yeah. Those are the best. I've never had one. The I best. You've never, oh, you get the nacho cheese to dip it in. Yeah, they jalapeno, get the jalapeno pretzel. pieces inside of them. Paint me a picture. Paint me oh, a picture. It's so amazing. Sex oh, in your mouth, dude. So mm -hmm. amazing. Just a little bit of spiciness. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You get the mm -hmm. pepper flavor. Yes. Oh, yes. And the cheese. <laughs> the melty, gooey cheese. You just dip it in there and it's like eating nacho fucking pretzel. <laughs> oh. Nom, 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 oh, wait. Nom, Say nom. it slower. Say it. <laughs> Say it, Lont Mont, please. I would give that beer. God damn, these are all like almost eights. Uh, seven five, seven five. I can't go quite as high because it's not quite as drinkable as the other two, but it's close. Yeah, very close. I'm gonna give it an eight. I really like ah! this one. I'm gonna drop this one down to a five. Uh, it's a tasting sort <clears throat> of experience. Uh, it would not be easy to get through a bottle of this, and you would be kind of, you would kind of be full up on richness before you would get too much drunkness. <laughs> it's a very flavorful beer and um, it's not smooth at all. Very good beer tonight. All right, this has been Grubbin. Colt Moo. <laughs> I shotgun six beers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It was impressive. <laughs>